What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today and we're going to be talking about this recent interview or exclusive report that came out from Screen Rant after they had a sit down I guess with Jason Blum who went into some details as to I guess I, I'll describe it as what it means when Halloween ends for this current entity continuity wise for the Michael Myers that we've been getting for the past four or five years at this point uh, from David Gordon Green, Danny McBride and the whole Blumhouse you know department. So when it relates to how Halloween ends he was he was asked about you know this being the end and he responded with I didn't say it's going to be the last Halloween movie it's our last Halloween movie we have no more rights to make any more Halloween movies after this so it goes back to Malik Akkad and what he does only he knows but we are done this is our last one and I think people will be very happy now of course I think many of you had like a obvious idea in your head that I also think this was public knowledge that they had like a three picture deal. And after the third one, of course, the rights would revert back to who had them before. Uh, Blumhouse is not going to have them anymore. It doesn't mean that Blumhouse won't then get rights to do more Halloween movies in the future, but they might just be done for now. What Malika Cod wants to do with it again, like Jason Blum said, is up to Malika Cod. So as far as what you guys would like to see, I know a lot of you, again, have talked about wanting to see a Jamie Lloyd timeline revisited. Uh, I know I've talked about them doing a new storyline altogether. If they decide to remake Halloween once again, you don't have to set it in 1978. You could set it in the modern times. You don't have to necessarily put it in the current modern times, but like you could set it in the early 2000s or something for whatever reason and do some alterations to Michael Myers to of course have him still be young in the 2000s. There's some different things you could do there to shake it up, introduce new characters. You don't have to have Michael Myers stalking Laurie Strode or anything like that. You don't have to bring in Jamie Lee Curtis again. You don't have to do any of that. You could just start a complete new batch of stories to be told give us new heroines to get attached to new final girls new final boys new lineages new backstories to michael myers if somebody decides to go into another backstory explanation again that's up to them uh there's so many different things you could do with michael myers going into future halloween movies after what i hope is going to be a break between halloween ends and whatever we get in the future now there is a chance that again if Halloween ends is very successful, that there's already because there could be some things going on where somebody has an idea within Blumhouse on what they would like to do next with this series. And like I said before, that is this contract or the rights ending for them doesn't mean they can't get rights again to keep making more. They could always turn right back around and say, hey, we're actually doing another one, but it would just be years from now. Uh, once they resecure rights and maybe Malik is actually taking pitches and bl the Blumhouse stuff is just the stuff that's always connecting with him in terms of what he wants to bring to life. So he goes back to Blumhouse and Blumhouse is right back make, making more Halloween movies. I'm not going to expect James Duke Courtney to be back as the shape. I'm assuming we would then pass the baton to a new actor who can do their own thing with the character um, and we'll just get to see what i would hope to be a new iteration of michael myers new characters i'm not against danielle harris being back as jamie lloyd if they can somehow come up with a narrative that is good enough to bring her back uh i know some people were again talking about how they wish that she was the one that was playing Lori's daughter and not judy greer but again do you really want danielle harris to be playing karen or do you even, even if she's not playing Karen, let's say she is playing Jamie. That's not the same Jamie because this Jamie doesn't have the recollection of the things you're thinking of when you see her. You're thinking about Halloween 4 and 5 and this Jamie has nothing to do with Halloween 4 and 5 because it's not going to be connected to those timelines. This will be a completely new iteration of Jamie that doesn't have the same memories that you have of Jamie. Uh, it doesn't matter what they've done with Lori because Lori always has at least the memories of that original movie that we all have every time they brought her back. Jamie, if she was brought back in the 2018 film, that erased Halloween 4 and 5. So there's really no connection that we have with this version of Jamie. So it's like, OK, I don't want a version like that. I'd rather have a Jamie that has all the memories of Halloween 4 and 5 brought back in to the series if they decide to do that. Because I know there is actually a, a script or something out there, I think, where... Jamie was in a like a therapy session and Michael tracked her down. You know, it was a whole big treatment that I, I came across online. But some people would rather, of course, the series be dead and, and gone. 
I do think the series will be dead and gone for quite some time after this. It's not going to be gone forever. It's just going to take a very brief hiatus. And by brief, I'm guessing this will be a five year max hiatus. If it extends beyond five years, I'll be impressed. I don't think that Michael Myers will be gone beyond five years. But, you know, stranger things have happened. He was gone for more than five years in the past before this current wave of movies we've been getting. So we'll see what ends up happening. But Jason Blum gave those comments to kind of address what it is that Halloween ends is meaning from the Blumhouse perspective. It All it is is that this is their last movie. This is their Halloween ends. That No pun intended because that's the actual title. But the the series and the, the IP itself, of course, can still go on. They, they don't solely own this IP. It's going to revert back to Malik Akkad. And whatever happens will be up to him. I know a lot of you have some probably other unique ideas you want to see. Like some people don't even want more Michael Myers movies. They want to see the anthology stuff happen, which I think could still work. I think if anything, that would probably be more more beneficial today. Uh, if anything, though, I do I do think that you might have that backlash of, oh, you didn't have Michael in this one. So I'm not going to go watch this. And then, you know, if they have a poor box office reception then you're right back in where you were with the original season of the witch they're gonna bring back michael and you know it's like okay michael is clearly the only cash cow for this ip so don't ever try to do the anthology stuff again if they were to try it again and it still <laughs> did not work out for them i don't see them ever doing or trying to do an anthology route ever again but if they try to do it i would support it and i would first be open to seeing what the narrative is that they want to tell in an anthology story in the uh, halloween universe because you could actually set it in the same universe too as michael myers it just wouldn't be a michael myers story it could just be set in the same universe where michael myers is a person all this stuff happened he is real he's just not the thing that's terrorizing everyone anymore uh and you can just do individual stories with each new entry if the halloween series were to go in the anthology route but what do you guys want to see from the future of the series what do you think about jason blum's recent comments again this is probably just common knowledge to a lot of you like me but many of you probably were expecting the movie series is just in overall uh let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i have links to social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limiting any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video